Hey guys, Cass here today and welcome back to my channel. So I did a thing and the thing that I did was recorded this whole episode with my mic on mute. Yes, that was a thing that I did. So I'm sorry about this, but I'm going to have to do a voiceover for it, which I'm not great at. I'm not going to lie. I, f I find this really difficult to do. But as you can see, we are desperately, desperately trying to get Rowan's skills up. Like, desperately trying to get his skills up. It was just utter determination that I wanted to get him up to level 5. I also was trying to use a different editing technique while I was doing this. So, my plan was to still do a half an hour video. But instead of state, like straight recording for half an hour, was to like chop it up a bit more. So, more stuff happened. Um, and it's ended up being 40 minutes long. So, I already spoke for 40 minutes recording this the first time. And now I have to do it all over again. Well, I'm ill. So yeah, but I figured it's better than you guys just watching it in silence. Maybe it's not. Maybe you want to mute me and just watch it in silence. That's your call. Okay. But yeah, you're here. We're here with lovely, lovely Jane, who is teaching something to Rowan. Yeah. But we're also like, I was just looking at the promotion. So Johnny's doing really, really well. We've almost completed Maya's aspiration as well. Jane has pretty much done everything she needed for work. So she's like level eight. So I'm really, really hoping that in next working day, it was going to be a promotion. While I feel really, really bad for Rowan. Oh, she's level nine. Sorry, she's level nine. My bad. See, a lot happened off camera. Because I tried recording it one time and I messed it up. And the second time I muted my mic. So it's been a bit of a disaster. But like I said, stuff happened in this episode that I felt like I couldn't just not put it up. And I saved the game before I realised. And like I worked so hard, so hard that I was like, I can't not put it up. So sorry about this. But yeah. So what I was trying to do right now is complete Maya's aspiration. Um to the motor kid one and to try and get Jane's handiness skill up to get into the forgotten grotto because again I'm standing by it'll really help with the fishing if I can get into that forgotten grotto meanwhile you can see like Rowan fuming fuming because he's absolutely exhausted and I was just alternating between naps and skill building because I really wanted to get them skills up to level five because that kid is supposed to be a genius so I figured yes that's what I want. A genius kid needs to have all his skills onto level five. Makes sense, right? But I was also really proud because I preempted James's skill, so I maxed out the writing skill, and I did some of the logic skill before she got promoted. So this time there was no skills that need doing regarding her work. It was just a bit. Um, it was just working on her actually just writing books. And crafting a lot of dining tables. I've crafted a lot of dining tables. Not me personally. I haven't crafted anything. But I've got Jane. I've got Jane to craft a lot of dining tables. <laughs> yeah. So, Rowan again working on his skills. I was trying to keep a close eye on him. Because we were super, super close. Like, you can see the communications level 4. Imagination's level 4. Movement was almost level 4. But I was kind of like, that's going to come naturally. And thinking was almost level 5. So I was thinking it is doable. I think it is doable to get Rowan up to, to to max his skills out before he ages up. At least that was my thought process behind the whole thing. But there he is, just doing blocks. Nothing but blocks, blocks, blocks. Oh, Rowan's so cute. Like, I low-key love him. He's the cutest toddler we've had so far. Like, Maya was adorable as a toddler. I'm not saying that. You know, I'm not saying she wasn't cute. It's just... Rowan's cute uh, sorry, personal opinion. But I love Rowan. I think he's adorable. So yeah, he's supposed to send him to a party really quick. Not twice. That's not what that was all about. And then yeah, back for a nap. That was basically what I was doing to this poor kid was alternating between napping and skill building. Nothing but napping and skill building. Yeah. And you see I was just really, really grinding on the skills, trying to get Jane's Handiness skill up, trying to get Maya's motor skill up. Though I have realised Maya, forgotten child. Literally forgotten child. And I was supposed to be the middle child that feels like the outsider. But honestly, Maya, 
she gets up every morning neither of her parents get up with her they just let her carry on she pretty much does her own thing all day she does her homework on her own she eats her food on her own she goes to play on her own like legit you can see why in the next stage of her life she's gonna inherit that jealous trait you can kind of see why they were so good for like so good solely on rowan because you know rowan's quite a gifted child that um they kind of forgot about Maya, which I think it fits in quite well with her having that jealous trait to say like she had some jealousy towards her younger brother. So I think it does kind of fit into uh, the whole storyline for the next generation. Um, I think she would be jealous of Rowan just because the amount of tension he's, he's got. And before that, Maya was the centre of their universe. I mean, Johnny did loads with Maya, like loads. Oh yeah, my genius thing of buying this potion and it not working. I'll just never get over that. Every now and again, I'll see it in the inventory and it'll make me sad. <laughs> yes, so I think I cut out in a minute just because no one's doing anything. Like, Lowen's had a mass. Rowan, sorry, has had a massive temper tantrum and now he's taking a nap. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. So, yeah, back. Rowan's woken up from his nap. And we just maxed the thinking skill. Level five. Poor Rowan's suffering, though. Like, Rowan is legit suffering. Jane is suffering because she's just out doing woodwork. Nothing but woodwork. And I'm like, yeah, okay. It's, it's probably time for Jane to go to sleep. <laughs> but, yeah, Rowan, bless him. Poor Rowan. It's quite strange watching this back and talking over it, like, without actually playing it. Because when you play, like, the words just come kind of naturally. You're not just describing what you're doing. You have, like, random thoughts and things. Now I'm watching it and trying to talk through what I'm doing. Kind of difficult. Yes, there's Rony. He's having his little sandwich. And then I think I pretty much put him back to sleep. And I'm like, look at the skills, guys. Look at the skills. Can you see my mouth circling around the skills because of how excited I am about the skills? Just, like, super excited about the skills right there. Like, super excited. But yeah, poor Rowan. <laughs> back to a nap. Back to skill building. This, is, this was his life, this episode. Nothing but napping and skill building. But imagination, communication, and movement. That's all. So I feel like we were doing really, really well with it, and it all seemed very doable. Sorry, I hiccuped. My bad. Um, Johnny got promoted as well, which was really, really cool. I missed that bit on camera. Sorry, guys. But he did. He got a promotion, which is pretty awesome. So I was really happy with that. So right now, I'm just going to stop, cut back in the morning, or when Rome wakes up. So, we're back. It is Saturday at 6am. And, as you can see, Maya is once again fending for herself because everybody else is in bed. <laughs> see what I mean about her being this, like, forgotten child? She's pretty much, like, she's super independent. She had the independent trait from a toddler, which obviously suits her really well because she has kind of had to take care of herself. Um, Rowan, I did less sleep for a little while, like, probably sleep, not just nap. Um, because, like, I feel really mean. I feel legitimately mean pushing that hot like, like, it felt like I was really pushing him, you know? Just, just a bad person. So, yeah, I was just setting up their, uh, little skills for the day to work up their needs a little bit more. And I thought, yeah, get Johnny, take a vacation day, innit? Take a day off. But I'm gonna give you a spoiler, guys. I'm gonna give you a spoiler. Johnny does not take a day off. Because for some reason, he never phoned. And I don't notice that until he goes to work. I've also noticed that there's a lot of books in my inventory that I need to sell to a publisher or, you know, do something with. Oh, look. Look at the baby sleeping. He's so cute. See, I just, I just love Rowan. Okay. It's probably because I got two girls. Never really wanted a boy, though. Wasn't bothered, like, you know, when you have people who are like, oh, I really want one of each, blah, blah. I didn't really mind. After I had the first, my first daughter, I was like, I think it would be easier to have another girl oh you guys may have noticed as well as i'm playing through that um i have mc command center back on and post player which i will go into the reasons why in a second yeah so basically i re put mcc command center back on and the post player that was it those are the only two mods or custom content that i have on here and the reason was I wasn't getting any story progression from my townies and like I want my sims to meet people who have like got some sort of family tree so I wanted to add the MCC on for that 
I also um, add the post player on because in between recordings, when I do my thumbnails, when I update my thumbnails, I have to go in, enable custom content, um, do the, like, you know, you re-exit, then you've got to load it back up, then you do the picture for the thumbnail, and then you've got to turn it off, and then you've got to exit and load it back up to have it without custom content. So, yeah, it was a massive pain. So, Jane's getting ready to work, and little Rowan here is looking at his toddler books, trying to get that imagination skill up. Like, super trying to get that up. Johnny's having a bit of a, a meltdown with his fun. Jane is off to work. And Maya is just there in the background practicing his hyphen like a sweet little angel child. Because poor Maya. Like I said, poor Maya's just neglected. But yeah, there he goes. He's reading his books. Johnny's like dancing in the background, doing like dad moves. But he was getting his imagination up. I do feel like this was a nice little way to do it. I was hoping to get Johnny to help him with some stuff in the afternoon. Um, didn't realise that he hadn't rung in for work. Again, spoiler, I'm sorry. But I was low-key mad about this. After, you know, I raged on episode 13. Oh yeah, did anyone notice? Episode 13, there was a disaster because the traits that made me have to rewrite little bits. Okay, it was only little bits on vlog. I'm not going to lie. It was only tiny bits that I had to change. But it was episode 13 that came out on the 13th just saying and it was a disaster just saying okay weird do, 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 do. sorry that was really out of tune as well i'm still ill okay i recorded three episodes back to back today because i'm low-key dying i was like if i try and get it done well i feel like i can <gasps> and maya just completed her aspiration wow see maya forgotten child and amazing so you can see like with Rowan doing really really well now halfway through the imagination skill close with the communication like about three quarters in and yeah okay movement still needed some work but he was supposed to age up two days so it was like rush don't know where Johnny's going or what he's up to he's just like strolling around oh, I think I was kicking no yeah he's doing going home practice his speech for work that was it so I selected the new aspiration for Maya and decided to go with the social aspiration um, because I did kind of want her to make a few friends, focus on her friends a little bit better now that Rowan's, well, now that Rowan's aging up soon, I was like, maybe we can focus a little bit more on Maya because I feel really bad. So we decided to invite Zoe over and so we'll get to know her a little bit better. So Maya's got a little friend. It was part of the aspiration, and I thought, yeah, it kind of suits with what I wanted to do. Because the way I envision Maya um, from the traits in the second cha challenge is like, yeah, she's materialistic. She's a little bit jealous, and she's a perfectionist. So I think she's one of those people that just likes things a certain way and her way, and she's going to be one of those ones who are like quite into how she looks. That doesn't mean she's a bad person or she's not fun to hang around with. It's just she's she takes pride in her personal appearance and her house she likes to have nice things nothing wrong with that part of the other thing with that aspiration though was like meeting five new sims so that's why you just sort of randomly introduce yourself to don lothario outside because that was the thing and i felt kind of weird about it like wouldn't you be weirded out if your kid just like left the house and went and introduced themselves to a man out in the middle of the street and was like hey how are you low-key weird just saying weird weird I said low-key a lot on this recording, my bad. And I'm still snotty and out of breath. And still trying to get low Rowan skills up. I keep calling him Lowen. Like, no, he's not Lowen, he's Rowan. I like more people than I was like, yeah, introduce yourself to this random woman. But yeah, there we go. So that's uh, Maya sorting out her aspiration. I really, like I said, I wanted her to have some friends. So I was working on her relationship with um, Zoe. I'm trying to find out what Zoe's all about, what her traits are. I find it so weird that there's cars that drive past in The Sims. Like, they don't do anything. If they run into you, you're fine. Just say it. Just find it weird, okay? I'm just wondering how many people out there want cars back in The Sims because I ain't that bothered. You know, like on The Sims 2 where they just had that little, um, kind of like that little cutscene where they get in the car and then the car drives off the lot? I wouldn't mind that. Like, that's quite nice see this is where i noticed that johnny didn't actually take the day off and i was like right you ain't going to work no no it ain't happening and i was like oh yeah maybe you should because jane's home anyway so yeah we'll, we'll send you to work 
yeah, back to Cars and The Sims. Actually, not that bothered about it. It, do it doesn't really bother me. If it was open world, I like Cars because obviously you use them to get places. But that didn't ever annoy you on The Sims 3 that they used to put their cars in their inventory. Like, I don't know how big a Sims inventory is, but I want to know what they're carrying those cars in because it's pretty damn impressive. There's a couple of things, actually, that people really, really want in The Sims that I'm not too bothered about, like farming. Please don't hate me, people who are watching this, but I don't want farming. I like the pets in The Sims to a degree, but the cats and dogs, they can irritate me sometimes. Um, like, in real life and in the game. I love animals, I do, but I figure it's like, if you have farm animals, then wouldn't they take up another slot in your household? Because if cats and dogs take up a slot then i would assume like cows chickens horses all that is also gonna take up a slot which to me then you're just sort of if you wanted a farm you want a couple of cows and a couple of horses and a couple of pigs it's just gonna fill your household you're gonna end up with a one sim household you know i don't know i just i just don't see how else it would work because i could don't think they could do them like they do with the the hamsters and the you know the rats and stuff like that because they're like little caged animals little in animations but if you want a, a cow that like acts like a cow more than likely it's going to be taking up a member of your household that nah, that just seems to cause issues for me anyway sorry i got distracted my bad my bad so i've just sent a jane fish in now so we're going to work on her fishing skill um she's still trying to make friends with people um she actually does quite well i think socially she seems like really sociable really nice people tend to like her maya so i said just because she's you know a bit jealous and a bit materialistic doesn't mean she's not a nice sim she's very sociable she's very chatty she's very good and she's just learned that one of her sims isn't good i can't remember his name the other one's zoe's erratic that was it so we got a crazy friend i love an erratic sim like legit love and erratic sim i like the way their moods kind of like flex probably because it reminds me of me <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a bit erratic my moods go up and down quite a lot so who we got i just i wish i could remember their names sorry guys like i really can't i know that one's zoe like the girl is zoe oh right i did improvise for this okay and i lost some of my performance game but i thought it was better than just stepping away from the mic I'd be like, sorry guys, I forgot my materials. I'm just gonna step off the stage. You, you just chat amongst yourself, okay? Don't worry about it. You just, you just chat amongst yourself while I'll go and sort my, uh, my little skit out. I just don't, I just don't think it works. You know, see, she's level five already. I'm telling you, this kid was just killing the social aspect, and I'm like, should have done social butterfly for the first one instead of motorcade. Meanwhile, Jane is fishing in a belly top because you do you, honey. If you're happy fishing in a belly top then go do it rowan is suffering still because i won't let him get a proper night's sleep because i'm so determined to get his skills up to level five he also should have aged up today and i was like procrastinating doing it and jane caught no new fish just friggin minnows minnows all the time minnows and friggin bass okay i just I just don't know what to say about the minnows and friggin bass i just need her to catch some more fish so i'm like new fish you know and this is when i noticed as well that there's no food in the house <laughs> that there's only cake in the fridge and maya's having the last bit of scrambled egg and bacon which i'm pretty sure wasn't even a full plate so yeah yeah terrible parenting here again because you know the focus was on rowan and i was just getting jane like to fish a little bit off because i really really wanted to complete this aspiration so i was just going to fish her butt off really what did i use angel fish to try and find some more things and i did think of going to the park to look for more fish as well like going to oasis uh, not oasis springs willow creek to see how that all worked out so yeah i was still back with rowan still still i managed to get his needs up a little bit by this point it is the following day so he should have aged up but he didn't but, you know, I was all intense ma planning to make up for it. Like, we were going to do a big style today. You know, the breakfast pancakes and then the cake. That was my plan. You can see it not quite go the way it should. But all he needed at this point was the movement. 
was the level five in movement. Um, I also went through the inventory and found we had this wicked mirror that Johnny had, and the big new bookcase, which I think came from one of Jane's promotions. So I just added those in because I like having their work stuff. You know, they work career rewards around. I think you know it shows their accomplishments. Jane, not such a great cook. She's only cooking level five, which I find is mad for like how long she's been alive. Sometimes my Sims just naturally get to cooking level ten from making food. Um, just on a daily basis. But Jane and Johnny just haven't. <laughs> so I'm like, hmm, we probably haven't done too well there. Uh and there you go. Rowan is just about to get his movement up, which I think is pretty awesome. So this is where we get Rowan where he needs to be. Where I felt like he needed to be. I mean, Rowan didn't didn't really care. He probably just wanted to go to sleep and do toddler things. And I was like, nah, kid. You need to be level five in everything. So I set Jane off to make his birthday cake. We do a lot in this, this last bit. I think it's this bit. No, not this bit. It's the next bit. Okay, shut up, Ray. Just, just shut up. But yeah, so I got Johnny working on his charisma for work. I've got Jane going to make Rowan his cake. Um, the kids are coming down to have their breakfast, so they can have their little pancakes, and there we go, level 5 in movement, that is it, we did it, Rowan is officially level 5 in absolutely everything, it was a ball ache, I will not be doing it with the next child, okay, just throwing it out there, weren't worth it, just, yeah, there you go, she just reached level 5 in cooking, see, see what I mean, see, think how long she's been alive, that's, like, in sim life you know if you were only alive 30 days that would kind of suck but in the sim world 30 days are quite a while and she's been long you know alive longer than that because Maya Maya's actually having breakfast and one of her parents are in the same room as her which I know is a novelty it doesn't happen for her very often but yeah we're just making uh, Rowan his little cake so I just get mom to add the birthday candles and my thinking was we'll get Rowan to go and have his pancakes for breakfast and then he can blow up his candles and we can celebrate we can celebrate little Rowan's birthday so here he comes down the stairs super chuffed again I just kept looking at that skill bar to see that it was all level 5 I wasn't insane it was done it did drive me insane. I'm probably insane now because of it. Johnny's still working on his charisma skill. So he does need it for his next promotion. But Johnny's not really my focus. Obviously my focus here is, is Jane and the children because they'll be my next gen. So I do like Johnny and I did want him to do well. But I weren't overly worried about him getting to the top of his career. Jane, I feel like now, is in a really good position to get promoted again. And um, I was looking for people for Maya to meet by here. But yeah, Jane's in a really good position, position to get promoted again. So I feel like we are like getting to the end of this generation now. It's very, very close to finishing. I am quite attached to these sims. So I am going to be sorry when Jane and Johnny go. And this is where I realise that Rowan is about to age up. And there is nothing I can do about it. I tried like getting him to ask... Jane to help him with the candles thinking that maybe he would cancel that aging up on his own interaction and ask her instead but it did not I just couldn't couldn't cancel it there was nothing I could do Rowan was aging up without a cake without a party I knew it was going to make him sad and I just couldn't stop it okay I tried and I just couldn't now Rowan obviously I gave the genius trait which came from, uh, you know, maxing up all his skills. And I did the mental and the whiz kid aspiration because I think that just made sense for his character or his personality, sorry, um, in the next generation. So again, I thought that was just the thing. So there's Rowan looking proper adorable, but also really sad that we forgot his birthday, even though we didn't forget. There was a freaking cake right there. So I let him finish his pancakes. <laughs> As consolation, being like, I'm sorry. But at least you can eat some pancakes. I mean, that's something, right? But that's, that's better than nothing. I'm just setting them up now for the day before I cut back out again. So my plan is to get Jane to finish her right in for work. um, To send Rowan up for a nap because the boy is pretty tired. So I wanted to give him a makeover. Send him up for a nap. And then head to the park in Willow Creek and try and uh, work on the fishing. 
So yeah, here is Rowan in Cass. You guys can have a better look at him. I think he's super cute. I think he definitely looks more like his mum than his dad. And I've decided um, as well, because he looks so much like his mum, to give him glasses. And I've realised that he looks remarkably like Alexander Goth. <laughs> After I did it, I was like, this kid looks like Alexander Goth. And, you know, as much as I'm gutted that the microphone cut out, I do call him Alexander Goth on more than one occasion. If you guys could have heard what I was saying, yeah, I called him Alexander Goth on more than one occasion. So... Yeah, not great, really. Not great. So I'm just setting up his outfits now. I don't do them all on camera. I just wanted to give you, like, a little bit. This is kind of what he looks like. This is the vibe we're going for. Um, which I think is super cute. And then I cut out, and I'm going to finish the rest off camera. So you guys don't have to just watch me mess about in cast for however long I mess about in cast. Okay, so I have finished messing with Rowan who I'm hoping I didn't call it Alexander at all on this part I might have done sorry guys but yeah there he is I'm kind of depressed because everyone forgot his birthday but I brought him over to Willow Creek Park in hopes that Jane might catch some new fish because we are super close super close to finishing that collection I also added some toddler stuff in the park in case we visited here in the future with toddlers it wasn't like a makeover i literally just threw a few bits in and put some parties in the toilets so you can take toddlers to the park that was my thinking because otherwise you can't really do much there so decided we were just gonna work with jane to try and catch a few more fish and i thought maybe fishing in a different area would help i'm still very much set that a lot of these fish i'm gonna end up finding in um the Forgotten Grotto. And there is my beautiful little Rowan giving himself a pep talk because he's depressed that everyone forgot his birthday. Jane is rocking her booty and doing some fishing, looking fine while she fishes. And Johnny's cooking away. He's, he's grilling some hamburgers up for everyone. Uh, one of my friends, Zoe, happened to be here. So we start chatting to Zoe. And we introduce ourselves to Liberty Lee, who actually now is Liberty Lothario. Like... See, she's got married to Don. This is why I love MC Command Center. I do check in a minute. You can see, like, I check later on to see if they've had kids or anything together, but they haven't. Jane caught goldfish, which is just really freaking annoying because I don't need her to catch goldfish. I need her to catch something else. So, yeah. But she's, like, finished her one stage of her aspiration, so her next bit is to make a BFF. And the reward trick that I want to get here, or what I want to get, like, all the kids if I can, is the connection one. So we're not starting at the bottom of the career. Because I figured there's three sims to manage in the next generation, which is quite a lot. So I thought it would be really, really helpful to not have to start at the bottom of, like, career level one. So I don't know how much of a boost it gives you, but I was hoping it would take you up to, like, at least level three, you know, something like that. So this is where I'm like shouting at Jane for catching the same fish over and over again. Uh, Rowan's just playing chess with some weird old man at the park who is wearing some very, very bright shoes with a suit. And I've got to respect that. I respect him being that bold, okay? I think is a thing. It's just a thing that's happened. <laughs> I'm good. I kind of lost the, I've lost the plot, guys. I'm sorry. But yeah, so Rowan, not Alexander, Rowan is playing... That's so why I realised Johnny has reached cooking level 5 because apparently he has been non-stop cooking. Since I told him to grill some hamburgers, he's decided he's going to feed the whole neighbourhood. Not just his own family. No, he's going to feed everyone's family because that's just the type of person that Johnny is. Johnny will not see a sim go hungry, apparently. But like, yeah, double check and he has literally made everything. Just everything. <laughs> Bit. so jane just ran out of bait so i sent it to get some food and she's gonna go back over and do some more fishing in a minute because again like i was just really really trying um to catch some new fish more than anything i was hoping her skill would go up but also that she would catch something different we also run into our other friend who is here our little friendo and decide that that's the one I want to make my BFF. Because he's a good sim. So I thought, yeah, we'll make him my BFF. Plus, I don't know where Zoe went. I feel like she left us. So I was like, right, okay. We'll work on the next one then. Who is... Josia? 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 I can't pronounce that. I'm going to have to find that out. Sorry, guys. 
Joshua. Is it Joshua? Just spelt interestingly. My dog's just winding up my other dog. She's just looking at him and crying and being annoying. And she'll do this until he chases her. And then she'll pretend to be all sweet and innocent. But really, we, we all know. We all know it's her. So this is when I'm like, Jane, get back to fishing. Go and catch me some new fish. Maya is just absolutely like slaying the social skill. <laughs> I legit can't um couldn't believe how quick this went up for it. I mean, she's definitely, I think, got the gift of gab. And she's still got five days to age it up. So I was thinking that possibly, possibly we could complete this aspiration for it. I don't know if we will, and it's definitely not gonna be like a focus to try and complete a secondary aspiration for it. But um I thought, well, you know, may as well just do it anyway you know try try and do like a little bit and see how far we get with it but I just as well I thought it'd be really cool for her to have some friends and I thought having a BFF would also be awesome so she was like having a lot of fun uh playing with her new friends whose names I can't pronounce apparently Jane's like happily just eating her burger and getting ready to go back to fishing and poor poor Rowan is still really depressed he's eating food with this homeless man who I felt really sorry for and you know thank you thank you Johnny for for providing him with food and substance he's a good man okay so he's gonna go and play some chess with his dad to try and cheer him up a little bit and also work on his aspiration there's Samuel who's another kid we know so we went to talk to him too because I think we're supposed to have like x amount of friends in the next one I think it's like three you're supposed to have three friends or something like that so it's like all right well we'll we'll try and we'll still talk to uh our other friends and try and like make as many friends as possible and try and get a best friend because they were getting on really really well and i didn't want her to be best friends with rowan i thought like oh it would be a really easy one to get them to talk oh this is where i decided to check if don lothario and Liberty Lee had had babies because sometimes MCC does that, so I wanted to check. <laughs> but no, they haven't. But you never knew. So, this is... Sorry, I've lost my train of thought now. Ah, uh, brain. My brain hurts. My head's literally pounding, 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 pounding. So yeah, Jane's just fishing away. Maya, that's what I was saying. I wanted her to have friends. I wanted her to have a nice social group. I didn't want her to be best friends with Rowan. One, because I thought it would be too easy to make him best friends with siblings. And also, I think she's got some issues with Rowan. I think, like, low-key, she's going to be like, oh, well, you know, you kind of took my parents' attention away from me. Like, a little bit of sibling rivalry there. And I think that's really normal when you have another baby for the, like, eldest one to get a little bit jealous. So, um... Yeah, I figured that that would suit her better. I didn't want her to be best friends with Rowan. That's what I was getting at. I just didn't want her to be best friends with Rowan. You probably noticed as well, or if you didn't, she did just hit social level seven, which again, I think is really, really neat. I said she was just flying through this social scale. I couldn't believe how quick she was picking it up. And I was like thinking, oh, I really should have done the social butterfly as her aspiration instead because she just nailed it. She was just slaying it. Um. She hasn't completed it or anything like that, but it was just going so, so quickly. And it, his skills were going up. And, yeah, this is where I get mad because Jane's got a guppy and we've got guppies. I don't want guppies, Jane. I do not want guppies. Bad Jane. Bad Jane and her guppy. She looks so proud of herself. And it's like, really? It's a frigging guppy. How many guppies have you caught? Come on now, girl. Get a grip. I also take a screenshot of her fishing because, like, I just like to have screenshots to remember my Sims lives. For no apparent reason. Sorry guys, I gotta drink a lot. You know when your nose is um stuffed up, so you've gotta breathe through your mouth. Yes, that is just not nice. See, I really wanted them to be best friends. I was really pushing for this. <laughs> really pushing for them to be best friends. And uh yeah, their relationship was going up quite nicely. Everything's going pretty well. Rowan is like on his butt, he needs to go home and he needs to go to bed. So I do send, like, um, Rowan and Johnny home in a bit. I think I do one more game of chess just to finish out that first one of the Wiz Kid um, aspirations. So him and Johnny just play a little bit more chess together. Jane is still fishing away. See, they became good friends. Good friends, but not best friends. I was waiting for that option. Level 8, see? Social level 8. She was just slaying it. I'm still, I'm super proud. 
and she's got a sentiment which is closer from happy memories which is really really sweet see i think it's nice if you have a best friend in your childhood which continues to be your best friend later on if she's supposed to marry a rich sim that's part of the next challenge i don't really know what this sim's like financial future is i couldn't tell you so uh i don't know if they're gonna end up you know being together but it's still cool to have a nice best friend there's no reason that best friend could be can't be a guy without it being you know a thing plus why am i end up with a woman it's a rich sim it doesn't say a rich ma male sim so she can go either way at this point she's too young to know that yeah actually i'm saying that i don't really know how old she is i'm just like yeah she she's too young she doesn't know that she's like five but yeah she's she's not five sorry guys Yes, this one I noticed that Rowan is proper on his butt. He's really uncomfortable. He's really sad because everyone forgot his birthday. I felt so, so bad because I had him ready. I had the cake there ready for him to blow out the candles. And he just happened to age up before. So I sent him home um, to get some sleep. Jane was also getting really, really tired. But I was like, oh, I'll try and go for a little bit longer because she was very, very close to getting the next sort of fishing skill. So I wanted to try and try and get that up and still work on Maya because Maya was like she was the only one that was doing really good actually Maya is like very independent she looks after herself and she tends to do better than anyone else in the household like she's the only one I don't micromanage so maybe you know I should stop micromanaging my sims just saying just saying yeah there's Johnny again I, th I think I sent him home um with rowan in a minute because i was like you know kids shouldn't really go home on their own so she's carried on talking to her friend jane caught another fish and then she ran out of bait and i was like right i give up she's like dying i say dying she's just exhausted maya's still trying to make friends that's it like finally rowan went home i did tell them both to go home they just don't always listen you know sometimes your sins just don't listen to you okay they just don't so yeah, I'm still, I'm still going strong with it. I was like, yes, be best friends, be best friends. Uh, meanwhile, Jane's like, I'm so tired. Look at that, see, social level nine. There she goes up a skill again. That's my girl. That's my girl. I might be showing favoritism. Maya might be a bit neglected inside the house, but she, she's my favorite. She just does her own thing. I kind of love her. But yeah, I do send them all home in a sack because I was like, it's kind of late, guys. You know, it's... Half past eight, you both, you, you kids, this is school in the morning, your mum's about to fall asleep standing up, so yeah, it's probably time to leave. So don't know what went on, there was a couple of negative in interactions there, but I added on three times speed and I legit don't know what happened that made them negative. So at this point I'm like, yeah, okay, but we'll go home, because Jane's really tired, like look at her, she's like, uh huh can't cope with life too many kids too many kids run away run away run away run away so there goes jane and that's when i realized that even though i told maya to go home she hasn't actually gone home so I'm like just maya just shift your butt get home enough is enough okay you're gonna go to bed so here's the the twist of this episode i'm jo joking it's not a twist my initial plan was to end this part here with the loading screen being like yeah we'll pick up on the next day or whatever but change my mind because i did think of one one thing that i wanted to do before i ended the part which i think is what pushed it to be in like a bit longer than i originally intended to do and i probably could have cut out more of the park but i am trying okay i'm trying to figure this editing stuff out and to remember to make sure my mic's not on mute while i'm recording because this is just a low-key nightmare i was really really disappointed but yeah so it's just sorting uh rowan out getting him ready for bed getting their needs up and i knew exactly what i wanted to do and what i wanted to end this part on saying as we are gonna try for a baby like everyone's in a really good like no no one's in a really good mood that's a lie johnny's in a good mood maya was in an okay mood but i was like everyone's pretty like she's pretty much set for her next promotion so all you have to do is actually write the books rather than working on any of her skills we only need her handy and handiness and fishing skill and i was like yeah it's time to have another baby because that's one thing off our off our list of things to do but here they go sorry i just said but and then was like yeah but here they go but here they go you know um 
no, this is where I am actually going to end this part here. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I apologize for the audio again, guys. Any comments down below, always appreciated. And if you're new, please subscribe. So thanks, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you all in the next episode.